so in this video i'm going to show you how i make my personalized bookmarks first we need a vellum board a very thick one it's 230 gsm mechanical pencil rulers scissors and our cheap watercolor brushes a very thick plastic board and a hard tip brush alcohol based markers for our roses white pens and our spray paint that's clear for a very glossy touch and ribbons beads of course then our lighter and I forgot to include the single hole punch and a paintbrush The first thing that we should do is to measure our vellum board in half, that's 5.5 inches, and cut it out. Then another 1 inches for the width of our bookmark, so it's 5.5 in height and 1 inch in width. Then measure it again for our guide. In cutting the bookmark here are the finished products and you can use the extra one to sample or combine your colors and fonts and pens then let's use this plastic board and we need a container in order to fill it with water so let's fill it fill it it has to be clean now let's pile the papers and above it after arranging position the plastic board where we will write it with our cheap watercolor brushes then let's choose the color that we want so it should be complementary with each other then I choose this pink and blue so these are light ones then randomly scratch it on your plastic board and it should be aligned with the paper below Next is we fill it in with our light blue. So you put it in a random way, whichever you prefer. It won't matter if you can fill in all the spaces that's left because later the water will blend the colors. And then lift the plastic board. Then tap water on your plastic board using the brush. Then spread the water you created above your paper and yes that made a mess like this one. You should fill it all with water because the space you missed might leave a dry mark on your vellum board. You have to tap the plastic board lightly so the color will stick on the paper and that's it. You can tap the excess water with cotton or tissue. And you should clean the plastic board that you use if you want to use it on another vellum board 
so you will have it clean and dry after which you can leave it dry or if you're in a rush you can use a blower or anything that gives off air As you can see, it really blends well. You should really wait until it dries because in this part, you will see that punching a dried one will directly create a hole, but punching the wet one will mess your paper there you go so that's the wet one in this part we will start writing on our vellum board and I decided that I will write my YouTube name or channel And this part is what I love the most because decorating it to the flowers gives my bookmark life and vitality and it pleases the eye of the beholder. So that's how I put or draw my roses and my bookmark. In this part, we will put red and blue roses. Here we will put some leaves for the roses to look more like a rose. That's how we should randomly put some rose. Anyway, you can do some like vines or something as long as it pleases you. And for the last ink that we will put is the white pen which will give more life to our bookmark. I've been loving this white pen so much because oh, it gives good definition to my artwork. Like it really does wonders. For the next part, we will have to clip the vellum board onto the paper, which we will spray it with clear paint. And we will have to go outside so the room won't smell like chemicals and such. So this part is very thrilling because some people like the act of shaking the space and the sound it makes. There we go. Now let's go back to our workroom and you should leave it dry before doing something again. So here we go. And that's the effect of the clear spray paint that we used. Now we will have to get some ribbon 
So this ribbon measures 4 inches. So I will show you that it really measures 4 inches. Here we go. So that's 4 inches for you. And then let's tie it on our vellum board and insert the beads which you can't see so here's the beads the bead and tie it in a knot we have to struggle in this part because my hands are now wet with sweat Yes, I have that kind of hands. And let's light it up. Ouch. That hurts. Light it up again. Melt the ribbon and attach it. So we have a finished product out here. Look, that's a decent one. A very nice one. And it looks very pretty. for our DIY bookmarks please don't forget to subscribe